Hello everybody Hello. and welcome back to another Final Fantasy short. This is the Movie Critic Trophy. This is going to be extremely long and heavily edited. Basically I'm going to be showing off every single AT in the game. How to get all 79 ATEs to get the Movie Critic Trophy. I will also be explaining ATEs that are easily missable or that most people might not get on their first playthrough. And how to make sure those ATEs do pop and in what order to do them. To make sure that you get them and that you do not uh, miss any of the important... ATEs that will unlock this trophy. This is an extremely hard trophy so you do need to be very accurate and some of these ATEs are actually redundant and really really difficult to get. So without further ado let's get on to our first one. Active time event. Uh, uh, can, I, can I can I activate? Hello? Oh I need to speak to the first. Ha! Active time event is a system that lets you see other events. Press that when you see the icon flashing. You can press the button anytime while the icon is flashing. Try pressing that. The forest keeper. So that's the first ATE of the game. I have a little count on the side there at the top to show every single AT and which one it is. Oh shit son. Oh, that was the first one. That is the ATE for uh, Forest Keeper. So I'll see you all at the next one. And here we have our second... Uh, ATE for the game, time to escape. Hmm? The structure is in poor condition. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall. Fire, fire, let me out. Ugh, half, half. I'm still not feeling well. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15? How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll. Besides, the princess is not 15, she's 16. Princess. Oops, Dinah Storm's it up. And here we have ATE number 3. With the girl who was left behind. Of course, this is my favorite one because it's a ruby and I love me some ruby. Where'd everybody go? And what am I supposed to do now? I like Ruby a lot. And right off that, ATE of number four. My little baby. It should be here somewhere. Huh? Damn. Where is it? What happened to my garnet doll? Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Jeez, poor little doll. The fire probably caught it. Poor Cena, guys. A big up, and I'll meet you all at ATE number five. Coming soon. And here we have ATE number five, the orchestra in the forest. There you go with the Rufus coronation music. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. And uh, that was 18 number 5. And here we have another 18. This is 18 number 6. An automated ATE that you cannot skip. Are you sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, too. Yeah, take this map. It's gonna be a long trip back to Limblum. Alright, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. There we go. That was number six. I'll see you at the next AT. And here we have AT number seven. This one does not count for the trophy as it is an automated one, but although the do as I say, not as I do was also automated, the two or is it three lessons that marks that gives you are not 
part of the trophy but I'm gonna show them off anyway I'm not gonna add them to the count at the top because they do not uh, count towards the trophy but I'm gonna show them nonetheless hey bro what are you gonna teach me today so we're just gonna quickly run through all of this I'm not gonna spend too much time here so we're gonna literally just do this get through it all and once you've gone through all of it I mean I know this already so then uh, we will continue on to the next one Not a lot of information holy shit that was a lot of information yeah, I get it, I get it, uh, Muggle, Mr. Muggle Man. It's a lot of info. So pretty much you can sum it up to the Evil Forest having 6 ATEs in total. I'm pretty sure they are unmissable at this point in the game. Um, but later on they will definitely be much harder to get and also of course uh, missable. So I'm going to quickly run through these lessons as quick as possible. Oh, that was just explaining all the um, things on there icons on the map. So Moogles, pretty basic, pretty straightforward. And then we just say nothing and we're done. Flash bro, you should know a lot. Yeah, I know. Awesome. I have a gift for you too. Could you take this flute? Very important. It's probably like the most important item we actually get in the whole entire game, that Moogle flute. It allows us to save anywhere on the world map. Awesome. So I'll see you guys at num the next um, ATE, which will Strictly speaking, be number seven, although it will be number eight, but it will be number seven. So let's get into it. And we are back with another ATE. This is in the village of Dali. This is where the next set of ATEs start up. So we're going to run through all of them as quickly as possible. So let's uh, just do the first one that comes up. Vivi confused. Vivi is uh, confused most of the time, if I'm being honest. Ouch. What's going on? Hey, you're... <laughs> Little kids run away. So this is um, number seven in the list of ATEs for us to do. And the first one in the village of Dali. Are they avoiding me? Yes, Vivi, they are avoiding you. They are scared of a black mage. I don't blame them. Black mages are scary. I've watched black mages destroy entire villages. So that was the AT7. I will meet you all with AT8. And here we have ATE number 8, which is Sarah Tries. Well, Sarah being gone in my case, I named her Sarah since that's a real name, and I thought it would be funny, but uh, yes, let's see what Sarah has to say. I went into the castle, okay? That was quite a ruckus. Mother went too far. She didn't have to fire at the ship, even if she did it to rescue me. I wonder how many people got hurt. I hope the damage wasn't too severe. Some people could have died, like an evil forest. You're in my way, kiddo. Kiddo? Oh, my apologies. I mean, I'm sorry. Kids these days. Kids these days what, lady? Oh, oh. The music's so nice and darling. Holy shit. So, like, peaceful and innocent. Little did we know. What are you doing? Can't you see what I'm doing? I'm killing the bugs and the crops. You're killing the bugs? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Bugs are just like monsters. They destroy our crops if you leave them be. Crops? There's one. Oh, an oglop. Oglops eat vegetables? You're a strange one. Most girls hate oglops. Is that so? It's just that I haven't seen too many of them. Wait, so Dane told me to try and blend in. Maybe I should act like I don't like oglops. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> the oglops so cute. And there you guys go. That is uh, number eight on the ATE list. See you guys soon. And we are back with ATE number nine, which is Sarah tries harder apparently. Um, so let's try it out. Sarah tries harder. I must speak with this girl and learn how to how common folks speak. Welcome. Um, yes, can we talk for a bit? Talk? I'm from the country. Show me what you're saying. What should I say? I'm from the country. Um, eh, yacha, can't you see I'm with a customer? But I just heard something awesome. 
awesome. Can't you see I'm working? Um, please, I mean, don't mind me. Here's a chance to listen in on some conversation. Thanks, lady. I was going to say... Here we go. That was 18 number... Nine? Pretty sure it's 18 number 9. I'll see you on 18 number 10. Here we have 18 number 10. The Cat's Eye. Also in the village of Dalek. Cat's Eye. Oh, it's you. What should I do? I don't want to give in to my brother, but everyone else is making money except me. Hey, wasn't that customer traveling worth? I won't have to give in if I tell him about them. <coughs> Greedy mother fudger. The cat sees all. That was 18 number 10. I'll see you guys in 18 number 11. And we're here with 18 number 11. Cat's eye 2. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, the look on his face. He sent someone to pick it up right away. All I need to do now is keep quiet until the guests leave. Gotta pretend I'm asleep. <laughs> Dude, the Moogle heard everything. Moogle, help us. Okay, that was 8011. I'll see you in 80 number 12. And here we have the 12th and final ATE in, um, or oh, 12th ATE, but the final ATE in Dali, the 6th ATE in Dali, and the 12th ATE all together, <laughs> Queen Brian Steiner. Let's watch that. Let's check it out. Do, 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 do. Steiner's got the best me. Firewood stacking duties are complete. I await your command. Um, it's my job to clean the bar. Why are you doing all this? Uh, sorry. Well, now that we have time, would you introduce me to some adults like your father? My father won't be back until nightfall. All the other men are also working. They don't come here during the day. Pubs are supposed to be a prime source of information. Hmm. <clears throat> I need not ask a lot. Let me ask you a question. I need to know about what transportation method people use in this village. I cannot tell you the reason, but there is someone I must escort to the castle. Are you from Alexandria Castle? Indeed. I command the Queen's Knights of Pluto. I am Alderbert Steiner, captain of the new Knights of Pluto. Knights of Pluto? Oh. Well, if you're from the castle, I guess as I can tell you. Please go to the observation on top of the mountain and uh, on the outskirts of the village. An old man named Moed lives there. He takes care of the cargo ship. Cargo ship? So that piece of junk flies to this village. Thank you. Wait. Yes? Thank you for your cleaning. Nay, it is I who should thank you for your assistance. I must make haste. Okay, well there you go. Okay, so that's the final and the twelfth and final um, AT in Dalit. And our next ATs will only be in Limlim again, so I'll see you all there. And here we are back in Limlim. This is the first AT in Limlim and it is a automated AT. Teach me Mogster, my first census lesson. This is pretty much the third and I assume final Mogster lesson 80 in the game. This one, of course, does not count towards the trophy either, so I don't technically need to put it, but I skipped the second one and I thought I'd put the first one in, so let's put the third one in. So, teach me Mogster. So, this will be the first one in Limlim, Lim, but as I said, it does not count for our trophy, so the so counter should still be at 12 right now, and the next 80 should take it up to 18, number 13. Hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about the sensor shop. That's really great. I super appreciate it. Thanks for all the help. I had no idea that's how sensors work. That's amazing. No! And that's it. Guys, bro, you should know a lot. Yeah, no. Markster and uh, the little brother. They're adorable as if. Okay, so I'll see you all at the next ATE. And here we have ATE number 13. Small town night in a big city. 
So this is the second one in Limlim, but the first one's going towards the trophy. So this will be number 13 on the count on the top. Stan is just pretty much uh, roaming on Limlim. Doesn't really know what's going on. Hot red mage is like, what's up? Jeez, your chest awfully funny. I am Captain Elderberg Steiner of Alexandria, and I humbly request your sister to get back to the castle. <laughs> That's a new one. Nice try, but uh, I don't date bombs. You should really scrape that rust off. It's disgusting. What? Steiner has no luck with the ladies, as you can see. Guys got no, no chill. Can't uh, pick up a hot, sexy red mage lady. But luckily for him, Grandma Pickle was going to give him a delicious gristle pickle. Which I don't want to eat. You want to eat. We all know that we want to have ourselves a gristle pickle. It smells terrible though, which is horrible. The worse they smell, the better they taste. I guess I'll try one. Okay, oh. Don't eat gristle pickles. Oh my, even the locals don't eat them in one bite. Phew. But you're right, they're all good. I don't know what a gizzle pickup tastes like, but I know I kind of want to have one right about now. Anyway, I'll see you on the next ATE. Here we are with ATE number 14, which is Vivi Shopping. This is an automated ATE and you cannot skip it. Um, reason being, it's very important. If you skip this ATE, you would kind of get stuck in the game, so it's, there's no way to skip this ATE. Thank goodness. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. Maybe it's the second most adorable thing about this game. There's basically lots of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. It looks like the sesame burns that Grandpa used to make. Alice Item Shop. Festival Hunt sale ends today. Wow, well, there's going to be a festival? Hi, I want to buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called a Koopa Nut. Koopa Nuts are Moogle's favorite food. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey. It's on me. Ready? Thank you. Receive the Koopa Nut. Uh, what is this festival hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Ooh, there's going to be a lot of animals. It sounds like fun. Thank you. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? Wait a minute. Did I say animals again? <laughs> Oopsie. Baby's in for a little bit of a hard time now, boys. But that is the ATE number 14. I will meet you all at eight, the next ATE. And here we are with ATE number 15. This is uh, activated the second you enter the theater district in Limlim. Steam engine. I'm lost again. Where is the princess? The town is big. The castle is big. Why does everything have to be so big? It's a good question, uh, Steiner. So Steiner's pretty much lost. This place is way too big for a small town knight like him. He does not have a clue how to find um, anyone. And uh, yeah, he's just trying to make his way back to the castle, back to Sid, back to the princess. And uh, getting lost in uh, Lim Lim seems like a very normal thing. Look at the size of the place. But I didn't get lost, I pretty much figured out a limited reason. So that's ATE number 15, if I'm correct. Um, steam engine. The source of steam power is water, it's my safe limit. Hey, <laughs> a bright future race at all. I mean, that'd be great. I would love a bright future. But uh, for now, it's just in the ATE. And here we have number 16. This is the What Can I Do ATE activated as soon as you go into the Tantalus hideouts. Where's it aim? A bell's ringing. A performance in the theater district must have just ended. How does she know this? Is there anything you need, Johannes? No, thank you. I'm thinking of going outside and having a look around. I'm sorry, Johannes, but we cannot grant this request. Right now, there are many people coming to Limlim for the Festival of the Hunt. Therefore, things are quite chaotic in the town, making security rather difficult. Also, very few people know of your presence here. It's for your own safety, please understand. Okay, I understand. I can't stand sitting around like this. I didn't come here to be protected. I just want to help mother. Oh, Sarah, so naive. So, so naive. Oh, that's the end of number 16. So I'll see you all at the next one. Number 17. And last but not least, number 17 in Lim Lim. 
Uh, actor time, Baku and his crew. Let's find out what's happening up with Baku and them since they were in the evil forest. This is activated by leaving the tentless hideout as soon as you watch the ATE with Garnet. Achoo! Phew, that tasted good. Oh, it seems like the whole voice. I can't believe we found a way out of the evil forest before it got petrified. It's all thanks to our bro who pointed out the road before he took the map to the lane. What do we do now, boss? We gotta save our brother. You're right. But first we need to let the guys outside drink some water from the lake. See now, bring them over. Hey, about blank. I think it's better that Evil Forest stays pitch by. Are you serious? Don't get me wrong. I ain't saying this out of concern for our safety. Then, why? I'm sure you wouldn't want to be saved that Mid Evil Forest was going to be restored too. You're right. We gotta start looking. There's gotta be another way to kill his pitchification somehow. We ain't too late. We gotta do what we can. I got your bus. As I such, I actually would love to join Tantus. Tantus sounds like a great group. The Dane likes it, everyone else is all nice, we got the boss, we listen to the boss, it's great. Hey Sina, what are you doing over there? Let's bring one of my make some good coffee, I'll get it fixed things. Do I gotta remind you what happens to members who don't listen to their boss? N no, please, not that. I'll bring everyone over right away. Oh, poor Sina guys. Whoop, that was the 17th and the final... ATE for Limlim Lim and probably, possibly, the final ATE for Disc 1. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I have a feeling it's something very similar. And I'll see you all in the next ATEs, which should be Treno, if I remember correctly. See you all soon. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Farm NC9. We are in Treno, and we are doing the ATE Movie Critic Trophy. Right now, we are in number 18, which will be the first... ATE in Trader, of course, as the name implies, Trader Tradition will be now number 18, our first one in Trader. Let's go. Trader Tradition. Come back here. Was that a pickpocket? I should be careful. Hey, where's my money? P pickpocket. So, you lost 500 gold. Oh, we lost 500 gold, guys. That's horrible. Well, that was number 18. What a horrible way to start your trip in the Trader. You here for a few seconds, you get. Out. Anyway, I'll meet you on the next AT. And here we are at AT number 19. If you head in the direction that Sarah got pickpocketed, you can click on Pursuit and watch AT number 19. <laughs> that was too easy. Huh? Dang it. Which way did he go? I can't believe I got pickpocketed. Oh, what? Connor got pickpocketed immediately, guys. That sucks. Wow, I couldn't see her while in the dark before. She's a real cutie. Good girl shouldn't be walking around alone at night. It's a time for me to get ready and move on to a new city. Well, there you guys have it. I'll meet you with the next ATE. After heading down into the area where Sarah chased the forearm bannet further, you'll get AT number 20. Confusion. This is not a very nice city. Better find super so fast and get back to Alexandria. Uh, um, maybe not this way. Yeah, I wouldn't find the super soft over there. Oh. Excuse me, have you heard of a thing called super soft? Huh, my wife, she died three years ago. No, I'm looking for an item that's curse or purification. Oh really? I'm doing fine, but thanks for asking. I may be old, but I'm still healthy. Um, thank you very much. You're still young. Don't give up. Good luck. Oop, there you guys go. I'll meet you at the next ATE. Outside the card stadium, you'll get ATE number 21. Ambition. Listen carefully, Mario. This city used to be called the City of Nobles. It's a lie! The nobles pushed us around, right sis? That's right. They hugged all the waterfront property and forced us up into the hills. 
They exploited us to make their money, right, sis? Right, but we can't just sit here and complain or we'll end up spending the rest of our lives in this miserable place. Power to the people, right, sis? That's right. Power to the people. We'll never go hungry once we become nobles. Follow me, Mario. <laughs> She's so spunky. I like it. What's this world coming to? That's a good question, Marcus. That's a good question. Well, there you guys go. I'll meet you all at the next ATE. Here with ATE number 22, meeting place. Hey there, is everything okay? What the heck are you talking about? Hey, it's you. Where have you been, Marcus? You know, around. <laughs> the man's waiting for you. At you! You're late. A lot happened. I'm kind of tired. No excuses. You're ready to go. You found it. You found the super soft. Yeah, the noble's mansion. You'll go by boat and break in tonight. Leave it to me. I'm the one who will save our bro. Yeah, it's just that you got two liabilities coming along. I don't know who these liabilities are they speak of, but of course it's definitely not Steiner and his beautiful feather and his beautiful hat. I'll be sure the second to last AT coming soon. And over here we have Unexpected Visitor, which is the second last AT in Trainer, but the last one we can do for quite a while. Let's get into it. Laundry Girl. Oh, this must be an auction house. Maybe I can find the Supersoft here. Hmm? Ooh, who was that mysterious man? Ooh, interesting. Well, I guess we'll find that out later. I'll see you on the next AT. And here we have AT number 24, Crime and Punishment. This is pretty much gotten as soon as you find Dr. Tot with Gonan and he explains the full extent of the Gaia thing. You just leave the tower and the AT Crime and Punishment will pop up. Lots of people miss this one because they go straight into Gog and Roo and they don't actually come out and watch it. So anyway, let's get into it. Seen is just sleeping. I I missed it again. How many times have I missed it? It's morning now. But it isn't my fault. It's a South Cape bun cake. It's so delicious. I just can't stop. When will the next car to Lim Lim arrive? That sound. That's a car coming back from Alexandria. I'm gonna wait right here this time. What the heck are you doing? I am waiting for a cable car. So this is where you were wasting time? I wasn't wasting time. I was eating South Bun Southgate Bun Cake. Why are you talking to me? I knew something was up because Marcus wouldn't give me a straight answer. So this is where you were ignoring your boss's orders and eating Southgate Bun Cake. Forgive me, I didn't mean to slack off. It's punishment time. Me? Take my super tornado tantalus punch! Uh, please, not that, please! No! Take it like a man. <laughs> you guys, you gotta love the tantalus group. You really have to love the tantalus group, they're the best. Grah. No! <laughs> Whoop, that's what he gets for not uh, taking his boss's orders. And I'll see you on our next ATE section of the game, which if I am correct is Clyra. So it's quite a ways away. I've got quite a few things to do before I'm gonna reach Clyra, but I will see you all there. And here we are in Clyra, where we are going to be met with our first ATE. And this is ATE number 25. No yummy yummies. And very interesting. This town. Got no yum yummies anyway. You know can make famous Alexandria dish Queen's meal. You know have famous Southgate bun cake. Shame those poor little those poor little rats. And right off that we get 18 number 26. Don't hate me. Look! Pointy headed devil! D don't come any closer! You demon, leave my family alone! 
Oh yeah, that sucks. We need to go save him as soon as possible. Here we have ATE number 27. I, I haven't hurt anyone. You bastard! You killed my father! Bastard! 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 Wow, well, wow. Well, a bit touched there, aren't we? He's one of the demons that sacked Domicia. I haven't hurt anyone. Oh, poor Vivi, guys. Oh, well, I'll see you in the next AT. And here we have AT number 29, the final AT in Clara. There's a mushroom. Mushroom. I never see this kind of mushroom before. I hope it's edible. <laughs> Queen is the best character in the Farmer's game. He just lives life like he wants to and enjoys it to the fullest. And that's how it should be done. Anyway, that was the ATEs for Clara. Very short, very sweet. And I'll see you all in the next ATEs coming soon. And here we have ATE number 29. This is Friendship. This AT has gotten straight after you rescue Garnet. So pretty much after you fight Zorn and Thorn for the first time, you run up to Garnet, you find out that she's alive. At the active time event, Friendship activates. And uh, let's get into it. Be around Bush from all that running. I can't stop. Hold on, bro. I'm coming. I thought the, the jungle was specified. Come on, get up. True friendship, guys. He ain't gonna stop until he rescues you, bro. And that's how it should be. Sweet. So in control of today, and that is that. And I'll see you all the next one, which is in Lim Lim. And here, in the desolate destruction wastes of Lim Lim, we have ATE number 30. The third jewel. So Lim Lim is destroyed, guys. It's horrible. But... Luckily, not too many casualties, and it uh, looks like town is starting to pick up again. We started loading the supplies. It took long enough, didn't it? Yes, the Lim Lim soldiers won't obey our orders. Or oh, duh. We must finish up before Queen Brown becomes upset. Send all available personnel to the harbor and assist in supplying the fleet. Staying here is pointless now that we have the Falcon Claw. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I guess she took over after General Beatrix ditched them. Sweet. So I'll see you at the next AT. And here we are with AT number 31, Bronze Fleet arrives. Why are they loading food instead of valuables onto the ship? I wonder if they're going to take them all back to Alexandria. Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship. Damn them, they think they can walk all over us. We gotta store more, let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go and conquer? What do they really want? I don't know. But you know how greedy Bran is. <laughs> go out, Bran is a pretty greedy person, guys. She really is. Oh, baby. What's happening now? And here we have ATE number 32. Quack, quack. How infuriating. My, my. They have an ogla for a region and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Mm hmm? You two, I did not give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but... Keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The machine over there stopped and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yes, it made this strange quack quack sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Any word from the lookout? No ma'am, nothing. This must be reason Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come with us you two. Find the regent. Yes ma'am. Uh oh, Regent said you better run! You better run! Sweet, so that was the 32nd ATE and the last one in the And we are next ATE will be on a brand new continent in Conde Pit, and I'll see you all there. And welcome back to ATE number 33. This is Conde Pit, 
where for the first time things start to get a little difficult. You have to kind of do things in an extremely set fa uh, fashion. And um, uh, if you do not walk in the right direction or do the right one, you could miss some ATEs in this area. It shouldn't be too difficult as it's kind of obvious which directions you need to go. But some people might miss that. So let's get into it. AT number 33. Vivi and the couple. Hmm. The people here sure are different. Come hither ye. I'm so... And just where you think you're going. You're always lighting a rune. Wish, would you stop heckling me for once? Away with you. Um, pardon me, but... Where would you be without me? You, you didn't have to get so angry. If you did not want to hear my complaining, you'd get back to work. Alright, woman, alright. Lazy no go husband of mine. Hmm? Mercy me, are you a wee one? Wanting errands here, are you? Um, pardon me, but. Well, give me your regards to us. To the others? Gee whiz, the people here aren't afraid of me. The others? Hello? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I'll see you at 18 number 34. And here we are at 18 number 34. Queen accused. Rally ho! Rally ho yourself! This village have tasty munchies. Hey, that we do. Conde Petit is I am tying the most delicious nuts and berries in the world. And Ken, that's what a folk are always stealing our food. How rude. Thieves are very... How rude. Thieves are very bad people. Hey, that's alright. Hmm, lots of yummy looking food here. I'll let you have your pumpkin bomb there for 1,000 gil. Huh? What do you need gil to eat? If you don't pay for something, you're stealing. Oh, so you're the thief, are you, no? No, not me. I only comment. You cannot fool me, thief. No, I'm not thief. I don't know why uh, Queen took on that voice accent, but she did. And that's just life. Oh, she, he did. Ooh, a little child. A little child. Anyway, I'll see you at the next AT. And here with AT number 35, Queen, I can't communicate. It's hard when the accents than the language don't work. I don't care what else we do can do, lads. Oh, rest me change time, yes? Nah, that thief's been snitching our food again. I, I not thief. Nobody said you were a thief. Or oh, are you hiding something? I, I now have nothing to hide. These people so difficult. Alright, lads, we have to keep our ears open if we're going to catch a thief. But we're always looking out for thieves, are we no? <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, I'll see you guys all the next ATE. And here with ATE number 36. Let's get into Sarah and William. Ooh, hello. Excuse me. So now I'm gonna have to find a way for me wee William. No lassie, once you're William for a man. Well, what's wrong with this uh, Utsura lass right here? Um, hi, I was wondering. Mm, my, she's a bunny lass at that. Have any of you seen? But she's awfully smart, sent her sanctuary, then you can. Look at her, she's a make or bigger than you, I can. I'm not marrying anybody! <laughs> hmm? Sanctuary? <laughs> poor, 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 poor. Got it. Anyway, let's head to the 37th. I'm pretty sure 37th and the final one for the village of Konopit. I'll see you all there. And after speaking to Vivi, you will unlock 18 number 37, the final 18 in Konopit. Let's check it out. Hungry Brian. Ooh, I'm so hungry. I get it, man. I get it. Sis, I'm hungry. But you just ate to boil it out, did you know? I did, but it did not satisfy my voracious appetite. I have to eat something with a more punch, like say, uh, Rally Ho! It's Mr. Penty Head! Rally Ho! What have you to sell today? Uh oh! Was that a black mage that I saw? 
Interesting. Anyway, that is the 37th and final ATE for Connor Pitti. The next bunch of ATEs will be in Black Mage Village, and that is a pain in the butt. I will see you all there. And welcome to the Black Mage Village, one of my favorite places in the game. But we are not here to talk about my favorite place. We are here to check out ATEs. This will be AT number 38. This one is acquired the second you walk into Black Mage Village after the intro scene. Uh, the AT will, will pop automatically. Now, this is going to be an exact show of how to get every single AT. This is very specific. You have to walk in a specific route. Um, I'm thanking a guide that I will link in the description below for how I know this because although I have gotten all of these in previous playthroughs, I wasn't entirely sure how to make them all pop in one or how to make sure that I don't miss and I do not want to be it halfway through roughly with the ATEs and then fuck it up so I got a guide and that will be linked in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to um, if not just follow my exact foot my exact pathway I take and you'll easily get it so the first one of course will be everyday life so we start all at the bottom interesting that everyday life is here in this three I wonder if the PlayStation 4 version has been changed slightly to the original PlayStation one version very interesting but we'll start off with everyday life and this will be number 38 according to the book I picked up last week the customer says give me the usual when he wants to buy something special what would I do if a customer asks for the usual being a shopkeeper is really hard the humans are here alright guys scared What are humans? I forgot. Are they a type of food? Huh? A human? Um. That poor black mage is so confused. I forgot what to say. <laughs> oh, Shane, he's so confused. Awesome. So then you want to go up and you want to take the upper right turn. So this one. You can go down to the lower right and the upper right. So you want to take the upper right. And that should take us to the next ATE, which will be Life on the Word. The humans are here! Bump, bump. Vivi! What's going on? That's a good question. That's a good question, Gun. Sweet! So then after that, which was 39, we will go down up over here not across the bridge what you want to do is you want to come into this little shop right here so just into the shop and you want to go out of the shop and then exit right through here and then you'll be in between the synthesis shop and the item shop so you want to go in here and you want to say oop item and um gourmet's nose is the one you want which is interesting once again as all at the bottom anyway let's check it out gourmet's nose but i think that's why you have to do in a specific order because some of those might disappear had you picked a different one or earlier why you run away? I not do anything. What you hiding? Ooh. It's aroma. It's delicious aroma. <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. You guys, you, you gotta, you gotta love um, Queen Up. So now we want to head back it's the way we came. I'm not sure if this is 100% true, but... This is what the guide says that I'm following, so, so I'm going to do it. So it says, head back exactly the way you came, and then exit via the low right to end up at Chocobo Stable. So pretty much where Karina was right now. Uh, spoiler alert, it's a Chocobo Stable. And then let's shoot ATE. Different language. Let's check it out. Boop, boop. Is he the one who came here with the group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Th th thanks. Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where we were no humans to find that we had to cross the ocean. How the fuck did you cross the ocean? I see. So, um, what's this? This is a, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, uh, underneath the ground? Yes, our friends are buried under here. But, why? That's because I, I came here with number 36. We escaped together. 
We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped, wouldn't move or say anything. My friend, who knows lots of things, told me that this was what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried on the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Oh, shame. Was it a disease or was he hurt? Tell me why. That's because... Ooh, that's because what? What? I need to know. I need to know. Anyway, let's make our way to that cutscene we just witnessed. So you want to go, and I want to be a little bit careful. You do not want to accidentally enter that little synthesis shop. Oh no, Vivi ran away. Vivi, no. Oh, anyway. Hey, Vivi. What's up with him? Sweet. And then we just want to come up here. And this should activate visitor, not invader. Who's the visitor? I'm not invader. Um. Excuse me, why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about, using us. You mean about Vivi? That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All humans are liars. You're lying. But it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. I mean, she's not wrong. Anyway, after that you want to head out. You want to go to poor Garnet and help out because shame. She's having a hard time, guys. Oh, Zidane. What's up, sir? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane. It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, sir? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that. Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where you went. That worries me. I'm going to look for him. Hey, sir. Not again. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> and then that will be the final ATE in this area. Um, 43? I think it's 43. Just check in the top left corner. You guys will check it out. So this should be number 43. Let's get into it. Life cycle. Aha! I know you hide food. Get out. This egg is ours. Is chocolate egg. Chocolate egg. Super delicious. We share and eat it. We're not going to eat it. A chocolate mother left it for us before she stopped moving. That's right. We're going to raise it for her. You crazy. You never raised any animal before. Shut up. We can so do it. I not believe you. You eat egg behind my back. No way. <laughs> oh my god. Queena is like... The best part of the game in some ways, but sometimes guy needs to think a little bit. Anyway, that was the 80 number 43, if I'm correct. And um, yes, I will see you all at the next one, which will be back in Condopete. See you all soon. And here we are back in Condopete, off to our trip to the Black Mage Village. And this is 80 number 44. Why didn't you guys get married too? What? <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Natural joy. ATE number 44. Dot, dot, dot. Have the strength to carry you through the trials. Dot, 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 dot. And the wisdom to follow the path. Dot, dot, dot. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, so happy. <laughs> Uh, m me too. <laughs> Thief! <laughs> Queen is great. Well, there you guys go. It's 18 number 44. I will see you all the next 18, 18 number 45. And here we are in Made in Sorry with 18 number 45. Vivi's feelings. Ooh, I didn't even know Vivi had feelings. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
Mr. Chue told me that I understand what it means to live and to die. But it's only because I thought stopping was different from dying. I don't think I really understand what it means to live and to die. Where did we come from? Do we go back there when we die? If that's what it means to live, I wonder where I came from. Where will I end up when I die? Why am I shaking? What is it that I'm feeling? Mm. Poor Vivi guys. Oh well, we will uh, meet you all at the next 80. And here we have 80 number 46, Serious Feelings. A village of summoners. I read about them in a book once. A tribe that possesses the power to call forth Eidolons. Eidolons. Knowing that I had Eidolons inside me didn't bring me any joy. Mother imprisoned me. Used the Eidolons she stole from me as tools of war. I thought I would kill all my Eidolons if Kuja was going to use them for war. But now that they're gone, I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. Why am I thinking all this now? It must be the location. This place feels so familiar to me somehow. Why are- whoa, whoa, whoa. I just thought about this now, but why are all the summoners in all the Final Fantasy games women? Hmm. That feels, uh, that feels not right, guys. I'm just saying. But anyway, I'll see you at the next ATE. And here we have AT number 47, an automated ATE. Echo's feelings. Thanks for cleaning, you guys did a great job. A clean house worthy of hosting my heroes a day. But here's where the real challenge begins. I don't think Zidane and Sarah are dating yet. Sarah has been slow to catch on to Zidane's moves. That means there's plenty of time for me to get between them. I'm gonna cook lots of yummy food and show Zidane what a good homemaker I am. Cooper, I might work if you cook good food. But Aiko screws up a lot when she cooks. We don't have much food in stock right now. I know, that's why I can't screw up. You're all gonna help me. No! Keep up out. Keep up? I'm sleepy. You're all gonna help. I'm gonna cook my specialty rock fisted potato stew. Cooper, yeah, that's delicious. But at least once you made. But the last one you made tasted so bad, I thought my pom pom would fall off. Just stew? Yeah, I think I need another dish. What do you guys think? Cooper, how about some fish? Fish, fish. Tastes great, barbecued. Ooh, that does look pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. That sounds good. Okay, our menu is rock fish, potato stew, and barbecued fish. Let's see. Who should go fishing? Um, Mama Toast. Go, Mama Toast. Kabow. Who should dig up potatoes? Um, Matcha. Go, Matcha. Kabow. Chimamo, you help me in the kitchen. Kabow. Did I make the right decisions? Start cooking. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this is the most adorable part of the whole freaking game and I can't stand it and I love it so much. It makes me a happy, happy human being. Anyway, let's start. Grandpa, I don't want to be alone anymore. Help me do this right. Aww. Poor Aiko, guys. Oh, shame. I actually feel sorry for Aiko. You know, she just wants to have a nice little fam family. That's all. I get it. And here we have 18 number 48. Echo's Kitchen. How many people do I need to cook for? There's me and Zidane. There's that quiet boy Vivi. I guess I should cook for Sarah too. And all you guys, Mog, Moko, Mocho, Chimomo, Mamatos, Morrison. Will you put water on for all the people I listed? I'll get the ingredients. Give out. Mm. 
I'm gonna lie to you, I love these mo I love these moogles so much, okay? So you put water in for eleven people. Pour water. Eleven kupo. Potato, potato, pumpkin bomb, lots and lots and nuts. Should I put an og in the oglob I found on Connie Pizza Mountain Path? No. <laughs> no anchor. Thanks. Let's start. Get the water going, a good shake of salt. Potato, potato, pumpkin bong, and another shake of salt. Lots and lots of nuts. I caught one, Kupo. It's heavy, Kupo. Um, let your mama cook and lend a hand, I guess. Keep stirring, Chimo, but don't let it burn. This is big. We'll pull it together on three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> That's a big fish. Ah! That's a very big fish. <laughs> well, there you guys go. That was 18 number 48. I'll see you at 80 number 49. And here we have 18 number 49. The final one in Maiden, sorry. Acres Kitchen 2. Your bait not so good. Pale, white hair, strange clothes. So Dane told me about you. You're Kuja. So Dane look for a man named Kuja. I called Krina. Oh, you chase Mog on the Connor Peter Mountain Park. I am Aiko. Mog, don't ever come out while she here around. Kuba. Smell good. Don't eat anything. The heat too low. You can cook? It's my destiny to pursue way of gold, man. This must be a help from above. <laughs> this must be a... Oh, because she prayed to... Because she prayed to uh, her grandpa. So then help came. That's cute. Hmm. I know how many people live in this village. Is the Danes group, the Mughals and me make 11 people. Is good amount. This heat only strong enough to make food for nine people. Well, it's not possible to make enough for everyone. No! I teach you a very important lesson in cooking. Always make more than you need. Maybe more people show up. Maybe your guests are very hungry. You correct to make food for more than ten people. This your only ingredients for soup? Much I went to dig up some rock fisted potatoes. Is problem now with heat. Now we get more heat. Hmm. Ah, I know. I know Black Mage. I ask him make fire. <laughs> it's so adorable. That's the most adorable game I've ever played my whole life. Anyway, that was all the 80s in Madden Sorry, I will see you all in the next 80s section of the game. And we are finally in Alexandria. We were at 80 number 50. The big 5-0. It's so big. It's so big. The big 5-0. 80 number 50. Oh my! What a gigantic house! I gotta see the inside. We cook good food. Hey! Sniff sniff. Something smells delicious. You hungry? Yep. You very hungry? You unbearably hungry? Yep. Too bad. Those mother effers. Oh, poor Echo. She just got wrecked. But that was 18 number 50. I'll see you all the next one. And here we have 18 number 51. Long time no see. Been a long time. Been a long time. Been a while. Where have you been? We were worried. Sorry, I've been training. Training, training? Yeah, training. Training for what? Tell us. It was. Ooh, what was he training for? I guess you'll never know. Anyway, I'll see you on the next AT. And here we have ATE number 52 to fly high. How high? That's the question. So, Dane's done himself in this time. Yeah. But think about it. He's never been in a serious relationship before. He probably doesn't even know what to do with himself right now. Come on, he's in love with the queen. Did you think it'd work out? I'm sure he thought about that a lot. 
That's why he's in turmoil. He looks so depressed. Yeah. But this is something he needs to deal with head on. This is gonna make him stronger. You'll see. Oh, Blank's got his back, boys. Blank's got his back. And right off that, we have 18, number 54, Artemision. <laughs> it's so adorable. Moogles are adorable. Moogles are the best part of the whole game. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hey, Siskin, long time no see. Hey, Artemision, why does your coat look so shiny? Well, it's none of my business. Listen, have you been delivering mail properly? Uh, of course I have. Are you sure that you delivered all my mail to my friends? Uh, of course I did. You sent out four. But what about the other two? Uh oh, we missed two guys. Really bad, really bad. Anyway, that is 18 number 54. I'll see you at 18 number 55. And here we have 18 number 54. I forgot. I forgot. And that little girl ran up to Zen, which is kind of weird. Don, I've got to give Zen the letter. Huh? 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 Ah, I lost it. You mother effer Baku. That was an important letter. Anyway, that's that guys. Um, and here we have 80 number 55 and automated 80 clowns on a dark night. Ooh, sounds great. Check it out. No one is here. Is no one here really? Yes. Show sure you all about that. That is enough. Now we do what? We are going to ask Princess Garnet if we can return to the castle. Return to the castle? Can we really? I will not know until. Huh? We must hide! Looks like no one's here. Yeah. I guess this is about the only thing we can do for the day. Keep up the night watch and preserve Alexandria's peace. Yeah, I think so too. What a peaceful night, it's almost scary. Okay, let's finish our rounds. Alright. <laughs> that was close. Now what? We cannot stay as long as those medals are here. We must leave Alexandria! <laughs> Poor Zorn and Thorn, guys. I feel sorry for them. They did nothing wrong. Sweet. So that was 18 number 35, and we are now in Treno. And here we are in Treno, where we are about to take on 18 number 56. This is just like Black Mage Village in a sense that there are a few certain ways you need to do the ATEs in a specific order. So let's get into it. First ATE, number 56. Um, why didn't you... Why didn't I invite today? Yeah. Those two are thick like bricks. They don't realize how they feel about one another until they're apart. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you big dope. Okay, listen carefully. Zidane really likes Sarah. But Zidane wants that cool, so they misunderstood each other and end up fighting. Now do you understand? Not really. Zidane wouldn't stop acting cool in front of me either. It's so hopeless. Hey, what's that? Is that the car stadium? Hey, hey, wait. She's gone. Hey, you're. Huh? Ooh, interesting. Sweet. So that was 18 number 56. I'll see you all the next one. And almost immediately after you will get 18 number 57. How he ended up here. I never expect to run into you again. Um, thank you for very much for your help on the airship. Hey, no worries. My master's a good man. Anyone else would have abused. You should thank my master. He's the one who agreed to take you to Alexandria for free. Yeah. So, how was the play? Did you like it? Yeah. Wasn't there an accident during the show? Were you okay? Oh, um, well, yeah, I was okay. Good, well, I gotta get back to work. Hey, don't you live near Trenor? Yes, I do. Your family must worry. Go home soon. See ya. But Grandpa's gone. 
Hmm. Okay, so here you have the option of stay by, stop by at home, or stay in China. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. All that would happen is that you will get a unique ATE for which one you pick. I'm going to choose to pick Stay in Cherno because I've done Stop by Home in my Let's Play of the game. And we saw that, so I want to just pick Stay in Cherno. And we can see the alternate route. Um, this will not change the outcome. If you still follow all the ATEs in order, you will still get them all. These are just give, each one gives their own unique one. Um, so you can never get both. It's actually impossible. So we're going to Stay in Cherno. I want to see more of Cherno. And... Um, see what what that AT is all about awesome i'll see you on the next AT. and as soon as you leave dr tot's laboratory or whatever you want to call it tower i guess AT number 58 will activate memories part of the water nothing's changed damn it that bird daddy done fall for it gotta find my next scam Damn, ain't you gonna apologize for that? Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't you know who I am? No. What? I'm the infamous? Huh? I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah. You're the flaming amaranth. <gasps> I'm sorry. What happened, amaranth? That guy was totally frightened. Oh, I know. You were being a bully, weren't you? My grandpa always told me that bullies are actually cowards. Just leave me alone. Hee <laughs> hee, so he's traveling with a kid. I never knew the flaming amaranth had a soft spot for kids. Well now, excuse me. Ooh, that guy looks a bit dangerous. So weird. Amaranth, where are you going? So weird. Hey, <laughs> because adorable. Awesome. I'll see you at the next 80. And here we have 80 number 59. Silly people. I purchased a life size Griffin statue the other day. Oh, how wonderful. I'll bet it's gorgeous. Indeed, it is. I had to add a room to my mansion for it. Oh my. Everything costs so much. I am also thinking about buying a behemoth statue for our mansion. Everything costs so much. <laughs> hmm. I guess city people have their problems too. I thought they would be more carefree. Goodbye, Bow. Hmm? Goodbye. Hey! What are you doing? Uh, hello, little girl. Oh, you're the one who was being pushed around by Amaran. <laughs> Don't be silly. So, uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Wimpy? Alright, uh, hey, are you new here? Uh-huh, I'm sightseeing. Hey, why don't I show you around? No thanks, I'm fine by myself. Wait, wait. Damn it, why do I gotta deal with this brat? I just need to nab her and get even with Amaranth. That bunny on his head is mine for the ticket. I'm leaving. Well, wait, I'll take you out to dinner. Dinner? That's right, what would you like to eat? Trino Galetto, seaweed pasta, the choice is yours. You say you have delicious food? Yeah, lots of delicious. Huh? Hey, Queena! You say you have delicious food? Well, wh who the heck are you? I want delicious food. Why do I gotta... Uh, are you part of Amaranth's posse? Maybe Amaranth hide him. To protect the girl. I'm sorry, can you give delicious food? So weird. Goodbye, Bo. Hey, he dropped something. Ooh, free camera omelette, nice. Sweet, so that was 18 number 59. I'll see you all in the next one. And here we are with 18 number 60. This one is gotten as soon as you win your first round of the card tournament. The good old days. Let's go. Oh, it's you, Amaranth. 
What are you doing? Looking at the lake? I thought you'd be the quiet type. Sorry. Maybe I've changed. It's probably his influence. Zidane, huh? So, did you find what you were looking for? Well, I've been investigating Kuja. Some people seem to think that King, the owner of this mansion, is Kuja. True, I found people witness Kuja on his property, but there is no proof that Kuja is Lord King. Hmm. What do you know? Nothing really. Maybe I can find out the truth from the mansion's auctioneer. Don't hold your breath. So what's your story? You seem to know your way around. Are you also here for a reason? Who me? I'm only on an unemployed security guard. Security guard? It was painfully dull until the day he showed up. Hmm? I've said too much. Hey, wait. What, you're interested in hearing about my past? Of course I'm interested. Dot, 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 dot. Ooh, Amaranth's past. Interesting. I guess hope we get more of that. Sweet, I'll see you on the next ATE. And here we are with AT number 61. Lessons of life. Ooh, the lessons of life, guys. The lessons of life. This is where he and I met for the first time. Who is he? Zidane. I thought the two of you just met. I don't think he remembers. I was working as a security guard at this mansion. I was looking for a fight. It didn't matter who as long as he was strong. Thief! That was too easy. Who are you? You look like a worthy opponent. Hmm, so you're the King family's infinite new security guard, huh? What if I am? Hasn't gotten me any action yet. Come on, fight me. Hmm, so you're just a thug. What did you call me? My favorite kind, I'll knock you out in one minute flat. Don't disappoint me. Where did that thief go? Hee hee hee. Here they come. I won't let them interfere. Come on. Don't be silly, the game's over. What? The help! He came out of that door as I was passing by. I was staring at him because I thought he might be a burglar, then he started pummeling me. But he's a guard for this mansion. That's why he's suspicious, just look at him. We always had our suspicions, but... I'm gonna call the police. You guys hold him off until they get you. I'll tell you one thing. The truly mighty ones don't flaunt their power. How can I describe it to you? The sly ego hides its claws. Hmm. I'm out of here. Bye. Well, we've got you now. Yeah, right. Uh, hey. D don't run away. So you... I became a wanted man. <laughs> What's so funny? So I just didn't expect you'd fall for such a childish trick. It's no concern of yours. I'm sorry. I see, so that's what happened. Don't get me wrong, I don't hold a grudge against him. But I need to understand him. He doesn't flaw in his power, he only cares about being with his friends. You were destined to meet each other again. Two men walking on the same path are destined to confront each other one day. That's what a man told me some time ago. Honestly, honesty is a virtue. That's if you can manage to stay alive. Ooh. And here are the ATE number 62, Hippo's Prize. This is the alternate ATE gotten if you chose to stay in Cherno. If you had chosen to stop by at home, you would have got the home sweet home ATE. So let's check it out. Hippo's Prize. Trapped in the slums, living only to earn tomorrow's wages. The working class can't find meaning in life. If that's how they want to live their life, so be it. But I'm not going to spend my life here in the slums. What I need is power. Power enough to rule the masses. Don't you understand, Mario? 
Check it out. I got the naming weight card the other day. That's awesome, Hippo. You can take on anyone with a naming weight card. Oh, but you're a much better player than I am, Mario. Mario, you can't become rude if you waste your time playing games. But sis, you said that the card game is a tool for the nobles to show off their economic power. That's right. Since it's a bar barometer of social status, it can also be a way to improve one's status. Yes, that's a great idea. Hippo, is Mario a skilled card player? Mario is the best player in our neighborhood. Tee hee. Good, now I need to ask you a favor. If you agree, I'll make you our top servant when we become nobles. Um, okay, if it's for you, Natalie. Listen carefully. Natalie's got big dreams, guys. She's gonna be the politician when she's older. I can tell that right now. Wow, everybody's thinking hard about how to live his or her life. I gotta try harder. Oh, Vivi's so cute. Sweet, so that was 18 number 62. And I'll see you on the next one. And this is 8063 Hallucination. Ooh, Hallucination. How hungry. I try to travel to eat many foods from different cities. But why you need guilt to eat anything? I cannot eat without guilt. Uh, light on water look like food. It's just illusion. But maybe real. I go jump in. No. I drown if I jump. But I hungry. Hungry! Suicide, eh? I've seen many people commit suicide because of gambling debts. What a shame. Rest in peace. Oh my god! Queen is dead, guys! Is Queen dead? That would be so weird. Anyway, you get that immediately after winning the second round of the card tournament. See you at the next ATE. And here we have the final ATE for Treno. ATE number 64, Premonition. Ooh, Premonition of what though? I'm back! Welcome back. How do you like Treno? Hmm, it was okay. Do you prefer your own village? Yeah, but it's fun to meet different people. I've only had my Moogles till now. Just the Moogles? What about the others? They're gone. I'm all alone now. I see. So you are the sole survivor of the Sunless tribe. Why does everyone know about my horn and the Eidolons? Oh, I'm a researcher of sorts. I'm just curious. I see. Oh yeah, you were a serious teacher, right? Well, yes. Teach me how to become a graceful princess like her. <laughs> the princess used to be a rambunctious girl, just like yourself. Do you think I can be just like her when I grow up? Oh, of course. I'm glad to hear that. You see, Sarah gave me her mark of the princess. The mark of the princess? Yeah, Sarah gave me one of hers, so now she's got two and I've got two. Do you mean the legendary crystals? Yeah, that's what Sarah called them too. I see. So the crystals were was divided. One piece remained in Alexandria, while the others were sent to Clara, Limlim, and the Sunday tribe took the last. Wait, the Sunday tribe took last piece to Maiden Sorry, but why did they have to split the crystal? What happened five hundred years ago to prompt such action? That's a good question that they never actually explained to us. Ah, excuse me. I'm sorry, I get lost in my thoughts sometimes. Miss Aiko. Mog is calling me. Mog wants to talk to a Moogle she met here in Chenda, so I left her there, but something's wrong. I have a bad feeling about this. I've got to go get Mog. Oh, Mog called a Moogle. What's going on? Anyway, that was the final ATE in um, Chenda, 18 number 64. I will see you all at the next set of ATEs. And welcome to Limblim. We are in Limblim on this three. This is immediately after the Alexander summon. Spoiler alert. And uh, this is how to get all the ATEs in Limblim. There are two specific ATEs that are kind of easy to miss. And one ATE that was is completely missable had you not done something all the way back in this one. So very important that you follow the guide exactly and you listen to what I'm saying literally exactly so that we uh, don't mess it up you know because it's uh there's a few you can easily miss had you n not known of it one in specific that is literally impossible is this impossible and no one on earth would get it ever unless they were the worst 
player game players ever or they knew about it prior anyway i'm gonna be telling you that later on but for now when prompted by blank to by the way where sir how did i get you you must say where is sir very specific do not click how do i get you or you will miss an ate immediately so where's sir do you know where sir is no i haven't seen her maybe she's upstairs by the telescope oh yeah sweet so once he says i don't know maybe he's here but says, man isn't there anything on his mind besides girls i mean that's true so they only has girls in mind you want to immediately go to that so i'm gonna skip this at unless i'm gonna skip this at and i'm going to do the at as the guides show just because this one is easily missable and so is the one after it so uh, or not one opted one at the end of Limlim before you leave Limlim to go to the desert palace to hunt down Kuja, the evil bastard. So I'm going to follow this literally as the guide states here. This one and the final one are two extremely missable. Well, I missed them on my Let's Play on my channel. So uh, don't want to make that same mistake again. So you want to head straight for the telescope. You don't want to talk to anyone. You don't want to do anything. You want to go straight for the telescope. Find Garnet and be like, yes. Well, look, he's here. Man, we went through some crazy stuff, huh? I honestly didn't think I was going to make it this time. But as you see, I'm alright now. So, is something wrong? Oh, okay, you're so happy to see me, you don't know what to say. I didn't know you loved me so much. Did I do something wrong? Alright, uh, what did I do wrong? Maybe she's just tired. A lot has happened since Bronze Dead. I better cheer up. Hey, let's go check out the town. It'll be fine. Come on. I think she's starting to get annoyed. Maybe I should leave her alone. I guess you have a lot on your mind right now. Sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Sedane, you're so sweet. Thank you. Oh, poor Garnet's having a hard time. And there we go, 8E, my bad. Damn. I've got to tell him to go to Sizzle. He's probably still upstairs yapping away. Damn. And that was 8E number 65. I will see you at the next 8E. And here we have 18 number 66. Something was the show. Bum 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 bum. Man, this doesn't look good. Yeah, whatever it is, I think it's dead. Hey, you're supposed to be on duty. K Captain. I'm sorry, sir, but we found this weird thing by the show. Step aside. I used to be a sea dog, so I know a thing or two about these things. It's dead. Go find a doctor right now. I'll be damned. They got their butts moving at home. It's about time I started getting some respect around here. Ah! <laughs> Where is this? Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, shame for Queen, I guess. He's just hungry, but he can't get any food. And here we have ATE number 67, self-approach. This is an automated ATE as it is very story-related, so you can't miss it. Let's get into it. Alexandria is gone. I still can't believe it. So many people were killed. The survivors are homeless and destitute. How could this have happened? Maybe I shouldn't have listened to Aiko and summon Alexander. No, it's not her fault. It's my fault. I never should have run away from home. I got everyone involved in this today and Vivi Steiner, everyone. Had I stayed with mother, maybe I could have stopped her. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have assumed the throne. I thought I could make amends, but... I've only brought misery to everyone. What am I going to do now? Shame. She's having a hard time, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Sweet. So that was... 18 number 67. I'll see you at the next one. And here we have 18 number 68. Also another automated one. Deep Anger. 
That blast almost destroyed our ship. For a second I thought I was... <laughs> what am I thinking? What can that old fool do to me? He can't kill me. Nothing can. Besides, he's too late. The wheels are already in motion. Ooh, the black mages. I won't let him interfere. What happened? Terrible injuries you have suffered. Shut up. If I can't have Alexander, so be it. I'll find another Eidolon soon enough. Hey, you. I am number 234. Shut up. I didn't ask for your number. Are the preparations complete? Yes. It's about time. <laughs> so then you roll in my pelees. Far from over. I'm gonna go rest now. Get back to work. Who's a very angry man, guys? I guess that's why it's called deep anger. Because he's angry. Sweet! So that was 18 number 68, if I'm correct. And I will see you on the next one. And here we are immediately after you get the quest from Sid to find the three potions to cure his Oglop illness. You will get 18 number 70, if I am correct. 69, I apologize. You'll get 18 number 69. My hammer. Oh, don't, don't. So it kind of makes sense since we did just speak about Cena and how we need to get the potion from Cena. So, boom. It's getting hot. Wow. Damn, I hate heights. Hey, I need a hammer. Let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna go have to find one. Just let me borrow yours. What? No way, nobody uses my hammer but me. Almost forgot to use Cena's sketchy voice. Oh, come on. No. No one touches my hammer but me. Fine. But I still need something to drive in these nails. Okay, I'll try to find something. <laughs> no one touches Cena's hammer, okay? I understand how it feels, Cena. Sometimes you've got something that's just yours and you don't want no one to touch it. And I feel you, brother. I feel you. Okay. So that was uh, 18 number 69. I'll see you all at 80 number 70. Here we are with 18 number 70. The rally. If you make your way to the theater district, you will meet a couple that you saved all the way back in BC on this one. Had you not saved them and let them die, you evil bastards, you would have missed this 18 and thus missed the trophy. So being a good guy counts. And let's check out the rally. Freya. I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, I'm glad you all made it here. Yes, it was a long trip, but somehow we found our way here. I only wish Dan and the others were here too. We've lost so many friends. Indeed. We can't get down now. We have to go on for the sake of hours. So, Freya, what are you going to do now? I'm going off to Kuja with Zidane and the rest of the party. And you? We're going to regroup and embark on the reconstruction of Mamesia. Many of our comrades are still scattered all over the continent. Actually, we were hoping you could join us. Oh? Then I will see you all as soon as I complete my objective. Please take care of things till then. Ramis will do. Good luck to you too. Thank you. I wish so fatly were here with us. Freya is so like, like an honorable soldier type. It's insane. Anyway, that was 18 number 70. I'll see you with 18 number 71. And here we are with 18 number 71. This is no free lunch. You get this one as soon as you give Sid all three potions to hit him. It's pretty much like kind of pop up the second you leave. But uh, it's your choice whether you want to do it, of course. But of course you want to if you are here for treasures. Crystal pickles. Get your crystal pickles here. They're delicious. What is all this construction? Fresh guess of pickles. They're delicious. Delicious? You have delicious food. Fresh guess of pickles. They're delicious. Yeah, these pickles taste great. What? 
This is food. You've never seen a pickle before? No, first time. I still need to eat many different food and get much learning. My master told me so. In that case, you should try one. I think you'll like it. Okay, I eat. Well, it looks like he ate more than one there. I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure he ate more than one, guys. Oh, well. Anyway, that was 18 number 71. I'm going to meet you all at 18 number 72. The most easily, easily missable 80 in the game. I think 900% of people in the world will miss this ATE and uh, I'll show you how to get it. Okay, so here we are in the business district. This is right after we saw the ATE with Queenie eating the Gesso Pickles. Interesting. And now we want to head there. And when you head there, you want to make sure of one thing. That you have less than 50 gil on you. Less than 50 gil. That means you have to have a grand total of less than 50 gil. And I know that seems impossible. Hey, Queenie, where have you been? Zidane, I'm so happy to see you. This person very scary. I need help. What the hell are you talking about? Do you know him? Yeah, sort of. Well, he's got some nerve. He ate one of my pickles without paying and tried to run off. I'm not surprised. She said I should try one, so I try one. I do nothing wrong. Are you crazy? I'd be out of business if I gave out free food. Okay, okay, take it easy. So, how much does he owe you? 100 gil. Fine. This is all I've got. Paid 15 gil. Sorry. Can you collect the rest from Buckle? Oh. Alright. Just get that thing out of my sight. Come on, Queena. Thanks, Elaine. You're my hero. I follow you forever. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So that was the first step of the thing. Giving grandma whatever money you had left. I only had 15 gil, of course. And um, if you had less, 100 or less, 100 or less, you would have uh, been fine. Because you need 100 gil for pickup. That's an expensive pickup. Anyway, I'll be see you at the Blue Narcissus where we will get the ATE to pop for that little side quest. And as you board the Blue Narcissus, you get the ATE. Give me my money. This is gotten from not being able to play, pay grandma pickle the full hundred gil you owe her and she wants to collect so let's watch it Achoo! well if it is isn't Baku grandma good to see you still alive hey I stand in front of these smelly pickles every day I'll take a lot more than that in my life Ha 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 ha! Y'all love to be hundred. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you. What is it? One of your boys, it ain't. Told me to collect the money he owes me from you. His friend ate one of my pickles without paying. What? Why do I gotta pay? He said you'll take care of it. That'll be eighty-five gil. I'm gonna wring his neck. <laughs> Poor Baku has to pay, boys. But that's the price you pay. That's the price you pay. There you go. That was 18 number 72. That is the final AT for Limited and probably the most easily missed and probably most missed AT in the game. I will see you at the next ATEs. And here we are with ATE number 73 team. What a great AT the word team. Oh, the Tantalus group, the best team there ever was. How are the repairs coming? They're going really slow. We can't rush them or everything will probably fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. We've been up here forever. I want to switch base with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. She's not here either, huh? Where could she be? Yo! Oh, it's you. Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Hey, watch your... Wait, that's blank. Hey, watch your mouth. We were just discussing ways to restore this district. Yeah! Old Sammy, you've got us all wrong. Yeah! We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. What are you doing here? From the looks in your face, it seems like you've got problems. What's troubling you? Maybe we can help? Uh, can I really trust you? Yeah. Uh, the princess is missing. 
She is not in the castle, so I think she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? Well, fine. This is like our backyard. All right, you heard me. Get her moving. I dig fuck. I dig tennis. I dig the whole group. It's like awesome. You have my gratitude. Yeah, no problem. And that was 18 number 73. I'll see you at 18 number 74. And here we are with 18 number 74 recovery. Region said is a man again. How is this ship coming along? Region, you're human again. Yes, now we can concrete. Concentrate on building the ship. Judging by our experience with Hildegard 2, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull though. Yes, I'm thinking about using parts of the blue Narcissus for the body. How come? I realized the blue Narcissus was a wobble ship when I rode in it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a complete blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you and it will be completed in no time. Let's get ready. Roger. Sweet. That was 18 number 75. I'll see you at the next ATV, which is on a brand new world. See you guys soon. And welcome to Brand Boy Brown. This is the final set of ATEs in the game. We will be playing as Aiko, where we activate 18 number 75. Place to call home. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. Ah, oh, what a big stone. Why are you all white stone? Is stone edible? Or is for barbecue? No answer? I think I lick it. You know answer, so you know mine, right? Mmm. It's very salty. Oh, who that? What are you doing here, Zidane? Huh? Oh, hi, Quinna. You stand here saying nothing, then you just like other dummy dummies. No can tell difference. They say someone always has double somewhere. There's so many of you here. The world's strange place, no? Yeah, I guess. So then what matter? You know seem yourself. Hmm, oh, I was nothing, I'm always myself. Besides, not just me, you look just like your master too. Of course, Master Quail is Q Clan, we same. Yeah, I guess everyone looks the same to someone from another race. Hmm, maybe you're right. What'd he say? Same race? Ooh, Queen doesn't get it, guys. Queen doesn't get it. Sweet, so that was 18 number 75. I'll see you at 18 number 76. And immediately as you leave the inn, 18 number 76 will pop where the heart is. Excuse me. So, um, what do you guys do here? Um, oh yeah, uh, this blue light show is pretty, isn't it? You like it too, right? You're all looking at the blue light. The light is unpleasant to us. Oh, really? Huh? It's that girl. Hmm. Hey, it's Rain. What are you up to? What do you mean? What are you doing, baby? I'm trying to talk with the natives. This boy here seems to be my age and everything. You're wasting your time. They won't give you a decent answer. Oh, but I think I can get through to them. Huh? I'm surprised you feel that way. I don't know why, but I I feel like we're similar. Similar? What do you mean? I know they're similar to me, but... No, no, not like that. They're like... A lot like the black mages we saw on the cargo ship and in Clyra. Of course we don't look alike at all, but I can see one thing. Their minds aren't hollow. I think that their minds are just out to lunch for a little while. Hmm. Not hollow, huh? Hey, where are you going today? Today? No, Vivi's so like innocent guys, it's so good. Anyway, I'll see you at 18 number 77. And if you go to the screen where Zidane and Vivi were, Came into this world will pop 18 number 77. This way. Hey Zidane. 
Uh, what do you want? What? That's no way to say hello. What the hell is this place? I thought we'd find some mean mothers down here, but all, all a bunch of wimps. No challenge, eh? Yeah, I guess not. Hey, Emmerman, can I ask you something? No. Do you have any parents or family? What a stupid question. Sorry, I was just curious. I don't remember any loving parents. My first memory is of a face of the guy I had to fight. I only found meaning in life through combat. Funny how you put that in past tense, all due to my wonderful influence. Shh, what do you want me to do? Thank you. Please, you're gonna make me sick. How about you? What do you mean, my parents? I don't have any parents. Ooh, the game's getting a little bit serious, guys. So there's some serious emotional stuff going on here. Sweet, I'll see you at 18 number 78. And if you come to where Queen is, 18 number 78 will pop. The truth. Uh oh. The truth, boys and girls. Hey, where are you, where are you taking me? I told you, you are going to see Garland. Yeah, of course, but this way is a dead end. There is a way. See, you may find him through the portal. He awaits where the souls sleep, the floating castle, where souls bide their time until their restoration. Pandemonium. Will you not say farewell to your friends? I don't care what I am. I was born here, wasn't I? If so, then I am enemy of the people of Gaia. You learn quickly. Make no mistake, I won't join your side. I just... If we are actually relatives then... Then I want to take care of this little family matter myself. Ooh, the rain's bad ass. Sweet, I'll see you at 18 number 79, the final 80 in 59. And welcome to 18 number 79, the final 80 in the game. All you need to do is go to this lift. And set the number to number zero. Enter it and exit. And now what you want to do is you want to run along this and head to where the lifts are. There are three in total, which you want to try and access all three. And fail miserably. First fail. The hardest part about this is running to random encounters on the way. Second fail. And we're going to skip this. And we have our third fail. There we go. I'm just going to fail the second one again because I kind of forgot if we already did it. So I'm just going to double check it. Sweet. So once you have set it to the elevator to zero and you have failed three times, you want to run back to the elevator switch and change the switch to number two. To enter that and exit. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing again, head to the same three um, elevator things and get knocked back three times again. So that's number one. That's number two. And last but certainly not least, number three. Boyakasha. There we go. So we failed uh, zero three times and elevated zero three times and elevated two three times. So now we need to head back. And then we're going to get a little scene with our companions. We'll never get anywhere if we keep going back and forth. It seems we cannot go any further. Yeah. I suggest you let us handle these controls. You and the others should head to the elevator and wait there. Yeah, that's a good idea. You guys operate the controls or we head out for that elevator. Alright, let's do this. You got the controls, everyone? Sweet, and then after that, all you need to do is simply just exit to the side, and 80 will pop up. Boop! 80 in number 79. As soon as you click it, the elevator, the trophy will pop. Unfortunately, I did this about 20 minutes ago, and I picking did not start the recording on the last one. So after I did the four in Bramble, I stopped the recording and didn't start it again when I got to this elevator one. So retarded me, activate the elevator messed up and now because of that we can't make progress or <laughs> I can't show you the actual trophy so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a picture of it at the trophy section and that will be that and there we have how it will look the elevator it will pop the trophy will pop as soon as you 
activate the elevator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the elevator quickly and uh, get that taken care of. And then we're going to end the ATE Let's Play there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys in any shape, way, shape or form. And uh, help maybe now you can solve some of the harder ATE puzzles that you could never get right before. Uh, let's quickly switch the elevator. So hey Freya, what's up? Can I get a 4 please? She's like, no problem. No, no, actually I think we need a 5. We need a 5. There we go, no problem. Say so thank you very much for you, darling. Jump up here. Uh, I thought it was 5. Oh, it's 3, the elevator. Sorry, it's a 3 we want. I keep forgetting it's actually a 3 we want. There we go. Yes, controls it in. Put over here. Get the chest here. So having this ATE active while you do this is of course a lot easier than when you don't have it because then you have to run with the Dane in them the whole time and that actually takes very long where this is very quick. One over here before you activate that the elevator set it to number 4 with Freya quickly. Freya darling can I get a number 4 please? Yes, yes no problem. Yes and we go up one floor and that's that. That is the last ATE, AT number 79. That is all ATs from the first one to the last one with two Mogsters lessons and I hope that helps you all and I hope you enjoyed it. It is quite a long video. Um, thank you everyone that stuck through that watches till the end. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support in the channel. I really appreciate all the support on the Let's Play. The final video coming out will be the Ozma fight and then the Excalibur 2 speedrun and that will be the end of Farm 89 where we platinum it and finish the game completely once again thank you so much for watching this ate guide and how to get the movie critic trophy if it did help you in any way once again hit that like button it helps out a bunch subscribe if you haven't already for more mini guides for final fantasy games and more as well as more let's plays of great great jrpg games i'll see you on the next final fantasy short